In this video we are going to analyze playbook structure. So what is a playbook? Well in Ansible a playbook is used to run multiple tasks in order on multiple hosts. It's an ideal way to take care of uh, dependencies uh, because they easily allow you to define dependency relations in such a way that the next task is only going to be processed if the previous task was successful. Playbooks can also be used to implement conditional structures where tasks are only executed if specific conditions are true. You will do that using statements like when, about which you will learn later. In the playbook you will find different elements. To start with, a playbook has one or multiple plays. Each play has a header, and in the header you will find different properties, including the hosts on which it has to run, variables, and maybe even more. And in a play one or more tasks are defined. Playbooks are written in YAML. And the fact that it is written in YAML makes it easy to define the relations between parent and child elements. In the YAML files, indentation is used to identify the relation between parent and child objects. And they are specified as key colon value pairs. You may also find old notation, which is key equals a value, but key colon value is uh, the preferred notation nowadays. Data elements in YAML that are at the same level in the hierarchy must have the same indentation and that makes it easy to find the relation between different resources. So items that are children, uh, also known as properties, are indented more than the parents. And if a specific module argument can have multiple values, these values typically start with a hyphen. We call those arrays. Indentation in YAML happens using spaces. You cannot use tabs. And if you are using VI, you might want to uh, add the following to your .vimrc uh, to automatically take care of the indentation. So that would be auto cmd file type yaml set local aits is 2 sws 2 et I'll do that in a while so that you can see how it works. Now what are the elements in a playbook? Uh, so we have already seen that relations are defined using indentation. And task properties are defined using key value pairs. Most keys can have one string value, some keys have a list or array value. And when a list value is defined, each item is identified uh, using a hyphen. Uh, let me demonstrate how to work with playbooks. So to start I would like to take care of the vimrc, because vim is my favorite editor. Obviously this only has to be done if you are using a vim. So auto cmd file type uh, yaml set local AI TS is 2, SW is 2, ET. So this is making sure that uh, my indentation is happening uh, using two spaces. So let me write a sample playbook, sample.yaml. The purpose here is just to identify the structure that you will find in a playbook. Uh, so in a playbook you will always start with uh, a play. And as a playbook can contain multiple plays, every play is starting with a hyphen. So name my play, uh, then you have the hosts, uh, let's say Rocky, and you get the tasks. This is the minimal play header. And what do you get in the tasks? Well, you get name uh, task 1. And then uh, we use the name of the module that is going to be used, like debug. And in this module we are going to use uh, message uh, hello world. And then we uh, are going to do that again, uh, name task 2, and I'm using another debug, and uh, another message, uh, hello task 2. That's very, very simple, a uh, very simple playbook that is using the debug module, and the debug module is just going to echo output uh, to the screen. And if you want, you can create multiple uh, plays. That makes sense in particular if you want to use a couple of uh, different settings. So let's say this is for Ubuntu, and we are going to run this on Ubuntu. Uh, because in the play header you identify the target hosts, and if you are going to work on different target hosts, well, you need to start a different play. And there we go, tasks, and op name, uh, hello Ubuntu, followed by debug, and the message set to hello Ubuntu. There we go. Play is ready at this point. Notice the indentation. So the things uh, to notice here, we have multiple plays. 
The play is an array item in the playbook and every single play starts with a hyphen. Next, uh, we need a minimum of hosts and tasks in the play header and then you get a list of tasks. Uh, a task always starts with a hyphen because even if you just have one task, it is by nature a list item, so you can have multiple of them. And then we are using the debug module. Debug module is an awesome module uh, which you can use to print information and it can be cool if you want to see values of variables and such. Now once you are done, you are going to use Ansible playbook on sample.yaml to run it. And there we go, you can see that the playbook is uh, showing the name of the play and then it's doing fact gathering. Now what is this fact gathering? Uh, this is where, the, uh, where Ansible is going to discover properties of the managed host. Uh, it can take a while for the facts to arrive and you can speed it up by using fact cache, but that's something that we will talk about later. For now we just need to wait. Uh, even if fact gathering, strictly spoken in this playbook, is useless because we are not using the facts at all. And then we can see the output of the play uh, where it's telling me OK on Ansible 1, OK on Ansible 2. It is saying OK if nothing was changed. Then it's printing the messages uh, on Ansible 1 and 2. First it completes task 1 on all the managed hosts, then it moves forward to task 2, also on all the managed hosts. And then it continues to uh, the Ubuntu host and it's doing the same. In the play recap we see an overview of all the hosts that have been processed and in the hosts that have been processed you can see the result. Right now we should be looking at OK and changed. OK means that a play was executed successfully, uh, but nothing needed to be changed. And changed means that the play was executed successfully and something was changed. And that is all you need to know to get yourself started with playbooks.